what's up? Ooh, you see how good I look? Yo, what's up? What's up, y'all? Hey, I'm going to talk about some real stuff, man. It's been hectic, but, you know, I've been blessed, man. It's always blessed to see another day, you know, wake up feeling good. I haven't been to sleep yet. I'm at the laundromat right now. But, um, man, like, shit is not always, what else I was going to say? How was I going to put it? It's not always sweet, man. Like, you can't, you can't, um, justify your happiness based off what's going on in your life because a lot of shit is going to be not how you want it to be like since I've left since I've left the nine to five man shit's been real you know financially and mainly because um you know they don't pay you how you're supposed to get paid or whatever but I'm saying like what I'm really talking about now is like man you know your happiness should not be determined by your income like for those for the since I left my nine to five, you know, I had went to another job and then decided to leave there. And now things are starting to slowly come into place. But I was struggling for a bit, bro, like just to struggle to pay bills and struggle to do this. Like my phone was just off. I just got my phone back on. Like, but I'm, I'm saying like none of that, sh- none of that shit should control your happiness, man. Like the things that you can control. Of course, I can control paying my bills and shit like that. But at the end of the day, it's not a necessity to me. If you see me, you're going to see me. We can talk and we can vibe. Like, um, like, I feel like a lot of us are so attached to a lot of these materialistic things. So when we can't, when we don't have them in our possession based off of what's going on in our life, you know, we start to feel down. But it's like, you should not let that shit get to you, man. Like, since I've left my nine to five, it's not been sugar. It's not been a walk in the park or none of that shit. But none of that, that doesn't determine my happiness because that shit comes from inside my joy. Like, no matter what the universe throws to me, no matter what I'm going through, I'm always pull out on top of something happy because there's always something to live for. You know, no matter what I'm going through, that's what I've been learning. Like, even though the hard times that I have been going through, I'm going to continue to smile and be, be an amazing person and be who I can be, help others out where I can because... That's what brings me happiness, and that's what brings me joy. I don't care what my bank account looks like. I, I just had fucking zero dollars in all my bank account. Like, that, it, that doesn't, I don't, of course, money is beneficial, but I'm not going to let money control my happiness and my joy. And I feel like a lot of us get caught in that, you feel me? We don't have certain money, so we feel a lack. We feel that state of lack. And, you know, I was going through that too, man. Like, um, just... Like, knowing that I'm a abundant person, but my bank account say something else. But, uh, yeah, man, shit, shit's not been cool, but it's, it's slowly coming together, man. It's a process. And I'm, slowly, I'm enjoying the journey even more because I'm learning a lot more about myself. You feel me? So that's really what it is. Enjoy the journey because the journey teaches you a lot of stuff. You feel me? The journey is where it's at. Of course, you want to get to your end goal, but then once you get to your goal, it's like, all right, yep. But that journey, the things that you go through and the things that you learn, you feel me? The things you can help others learn and help them do, you feel me? Um, but yeah, man, i just making this quick video, man. Shit's not been a cake in the park, you know? I, it might look like I'm living the best life, which I am. Because <laughs> I don't let a lot of shit control my happiness, man, and you shouldn't either. Don't let shit that you can't control control your happiness. You feel me? Of course, I can. I know I'm gonna get people saying, of course you can control paying your bills and shit. But you feel me? Shit happens. Life happens. But I, I'm not gonna let that determine how I'm living each and every day. So, but also another big thing I have learned is to ask for help because a lot of people are willing to help you in your times of need. You feel me? That's been one, one of my biggest things. Like. I'm so big to do things on my own and be independent. Yeah, I want to do it independently. Yeah, fuck that. I want to own. I don't need your help. Um, but a lot of people are more eager to help you. You feel me? You just got to ask for it. Ask for a helping hand, and they will be eager to do it. You feel me? So that's been one of my biggest things I've been learning over and over. Is it's, not, it's okay to ask for help because everybody needs it every now and then. So that's another thing that I've been learning, man. So... I'm just sharing what I've been going through and sharing what I've been learning as my journey is continuing to go on because, you know, somebody might be going through something similar and I can help them out along the way. You feel me? That's what it's really about, man. Um, 
Like share share your story, share your experience, share your ideas and your insights because that shit can be beneficial to other people. You feel me? You going through some shit can help somebody else that's going through the same thing. And you can give them some insight or something. Now they ain't got to go through it, how you went through it. But that's how that shit be going. Um, let me see what I was about to say. Ah, uh, shit. What was I about to say? What was I about to say? But yeah, man. That's that's really about it, man. I'm just enjoying life, living life, living life to the fullest every single day, taking it day by day. You feel me? Counting the blessings each and every day. About to get back in the gym. I took two weeks off. It's, it's almost three weeks now. Been giving my body a chance to rest. You feel me? Bike's on the flat, so I got to get that fixed today so I can get back on my bike life. Uh, shooting for 2,000 miles for this year, you know, just been learning a lot about myself and discovering so much. So, yeah, rock with me. <laughs> I'm out. Damn, it was some shit I forgot to add, but what I forgot to add was now my sh now life is coming together, man. Now that shit is coming together. You feel me? It's like it's like a masterpiece. You know, it, it was everything was supposed to happen the way it's supposed to happen, you know. I was supposed to do this and I was supposed to do that. That's what I'm starting to learn. Everything happens for a reason. You know, you're going to have a lot of mistakes, you know, have a lot of setbacks. But it's best to learn from those setbacks and learn from those, learn from those mistakes because they can teach you a lot. But, you feel me, now shit has fallen into place, man. Everything is starting to fall into place. And I'm creating my life. I'm creating my dream life, you feel me. Me leaving my, my nine to five because I didn't want to be, it's like I didn't want to be, have a routine, like going, waking up, doing the same thing over and over and over. Like now I'm doing shit that I'm passionate about. I'm, I love teaching about health and fitness and wealth. So now I'm, I'm at Prestige Personal Fitness, which is downtown, and I teach there at I hit classes and I have personal training sessions with individuals. And then I'm at the Title Boxing Club where I teach there and I teach boxing classes and I have one on one sessions as well. And then I have my own brand, Test Fitness. So I love where I'm at now because I have a lot of fucking, I have a lot of free time to chase my dreams and do what I want to do. Plus, I'm not, you know, working eight, nine hours a day. If I wanted to, I can train eight, nine hours a day if I wanted to. But I have other dreams, other passions that I'm trying to get to. So I love where I'm at now because, you feel me, I get to do what I want to do. I can wake up late. I haven't been asleep. Like, I don't have to wake up four or five in the morning, you feel me? I have talks with families and friends, and they're, you know, complaining about their job. And I'm just like, damn, I'm grateful that I don't have to do that. Like, I be having off days, and people are like, you ain't got to work? I'm like, hell no, nah. like. That's what I, I, I love it now because I'm creating my dream job. I'm creating the life that I want to live. And it's been amazing, you know, you feel me? It's been a struggle at first. You, you got to go through the struggle, you feel me? That's, that's the main part. You're not going to get what you want just by, you feel me, magically getting it. You have to be able to go through those hard times because they teach you and get you ready for the good times. So, you feel me? Now life has fallen to pieces, man. I mean, it's falling into place. Now, damn, my skin glowing on a million now it's falling into place, man. So I'm grateful, man. Like it's 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 coming better than I expected. You feel me? People love my my classes and people love my energy when I'm working out with them because I give them me. I give them I give them my authentic self, and they love that, and they they feel my energy. You feel me? People will be like, man, yo, I can. You feel me? They can feel that energy once I start teaching because they know I'm come energized and I'm trying to help you become the best person that you can be but also pushing past your limitations you feel me when you work out with me I'm not gonna give you no easy ass workout or no hard ass workout I'm gonna do right in the middle because I want you to push yourself I want you to be way better I want you to do shit that you didn't even think you could do you feel me that's what I love doing I, I, I love help helping people bring that inner worry out because everybody got that person that they never thought they can be until it's time to get in the gym with me and we bring it out. So things fall into place, man. A lot of things are coming soon. I've just been grinding, been working on a lot of things, a lot of things. I'm not a one-minded person. I'm not a limited person, you feel me? When you see me doing one thing, uh, it's because I don't like to limit myself. I like to, you know, be, a, be in abundance because I have a lot of dreams and a, a lot of ideas that 
you know, the universe has, you know, blessed me with God has blessed me with a lot of ideas and a lot of wisdom. So it's my it's my duty to give back and be a service to others. So that's what I've been on, man. Things fall into place better than expected. So back on the grind, man. Back on the grind. About to get back in here. Get back in here in the lot. I mean, not the library, but the laundry mat, and get it in. So yeah, man. Just share with me y'all advice and whatever, bro. Like let's connect. I'm all with helping people. You know, I can read through the fake love and all that shit. So the intuition on beam, you know. Cancers are very sensitive, well, not they are not insensitive, but we are very sensitive, and we can read your energy, we read your body, so, you feel me, I, most of the times I do, if I feel it, feel shit is off, I'm gonna cut you off, so, that's what, that's how shit been going so far, um, getting the bike fixed today, though, so I gotta get back out here, seeing these fella bikers out here getting that in, but yeah, man, life is going good, man. Life is going to look good, man. It's, it's coming together, man. I'm blessed. You feel me? B- meeting a lot of amazing people on this journey so far. A lot of amazing things are coming soon, you know. It's coming, man. I love the freedom that I got. I love freedom over money. I'm not worried. I don't want to have to work every fucking day. Like, I want to spend time with my family. I want to travel. I want to be able to do what I want to do. So now I'm focusing on creating my dream job, creating my life. And that's what it's coming to now, like, being able to do what I want to do. I don't want to do what everybody else want to do. I want to do what I want to do. So, yep, stay up, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. More wisdom and content coming to you soon.